do it. It's a two point lead for goodness sake. Right. And you can't catastrophize. It's not 15 points. Jose is one point, one win away from being one point away and make the yes. obvious, most obvious statement of all time award. But that is how you have to talk to yourself. If you're the underdog, it's like, I'm still in this thing. Nothing bad has happened. Huge moment. A huge moment. We see the delayed reaction there from Hikaru as, as, as there is obviously a slight delay, but, uh, Best case scenario for Jose, because he had, a, again, a nice position. Then he he didn't capitalize. Hikaru was getting back into the game, had the repetition. And that is how Jose gets his first win. But it's going to be a big confidence boost, because now he's going to know, I absolutely can win games, and I should take my chances. Now, maybe you'll push back on this, but there have been days um, where, for instance, I'm playing terribly, and I'm on tilt, and I tell myself, my form is terrible today. But suddenly, a single game can turn it around in your mind, right? You can fill in the cliches like you start to believe whatever it is that happens, whatever process takes place, you just start playing much better and, and you become unrecognizable. Um, that's, I think, often how comebacks happen. That's why in like a, we love you know basketball games so much where a team can go back, th go 30 points down and then win that game. How do you explain that? It's that psychological process. Um, wait a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. I, this smells. Queen B4. And B3. Okay, that wasn't right, apparently, but I. Well, I feel yeah. like there was something there. I don't, I cannot quite, it's on the tip of my tongue. But I don't know what it is. There must have been a way where you prevent uh, White from getting the optimal setup. But I can't okay, figure it out. We'll, we'll check because it was a pretty big. Uh, I, yeah, Queen A6, actually. Oh my gosh, this is lovely. Queen A6, let's pull up an analysis board. This is worth showing. B3, takes, takes, and the, the least likely move of all time, D5. Oh. The first time this has ever been played in a Morozzi bind in history. <laughs> and of course, the point is here, the rook gets skewered. You can't take with a C pawn, blah, blah, blah. Black is much, much better. How did he miss this? And it's just so obvious. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. That's tough. I thought I thought what he did was completely reasonable, and now he's he's yeah. This is very annoying, actually. Again, for White, this is a very weird. And yeah, knight d four, the queen goes back, but b four is like oh, you don't want to play b four because then c four is super weak. But man, what he, else? Hikaru Hikaru kicked that queen out of b three, and Jose didn't even twitch. Yep. This he is moved a... back stealthily like a ninja. This is a Maroxy bind masterclass of sometimes what not to do. <laughs> sometimes yeah. uh, you got to be really careful with the move order, but in Blitz, it's not findable, completely not findable. Okay, logical move again, but B4 has to be carefully considered. B4, Knight, D7, C5, Levy. And this is how quickly Black's grip on the position can not just be loosened, but disappear. Okay, Knight, E2. Wow, C5 was just, just, oh my goodness. It looked good. It looks good. Now this gives Jose a tempo, maybe get the knight around to e5. But black is but losing he, purchase on this position. Yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, and uh, king h1 f4, and I mean, you just have a... Com <laughs> I'm kidding. I mean... Or am I? It's a, it, it's a move. He'll do know? it. He'll do it. If he doesn't see a reputation, he'll do it. Uh, but this is... He'll do it. The, the thing, you know what's happened to Jose? What happened to Jose is not the motivation from winning a game and, and fi getting fired up. He won a game and he almost relaxed. And immediately the quality dropped. It happens too. You know, you win a game, you're like, all right, let's go, let's go. And suddenly you're like, wait a minute, what have I done? This is a disaster. Now, this is a take that people might have issue. I told you he'd do it. And it wow. loses, I'm sure. It doesn't do anything. Hikaru just slides his queen away. But you see a move like this and you cannot resist. And maybe Jose needs this. He needs a little moxie in his play. Now, what's the rook doing here? It uh, infiltrated the building, but it's been caught. <laughs> what's the next move? Yeah. I. Uh... <laughs> you broke in and you hear the sirens. Okay, where do you go? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other way. <laughs> you gotta go <laughs> <Yeah>. back. <laughs> Out. <laughs> back. Yeah, because even the queen on b6 cannot participate in the attack. It's just not possible. c5 is a huge threat. Oh, yeah, yeah. But you're in too deep. You have to maybe rook d3, rook takes h3. None of the sacks here are possible because there's not enough fuel on the king's side. Rook af8, none of these moves lead to amount to anything. Also, let's not forget c5. 
uh, cuts off the queen and can can hurt your chances even further. Uh, it, it's very upsetting, but you might need to play rook f6, which is just... But still c5. I mean, I don't. I don't have a good move. Yeah, he keeps the rook in the position, which is fine. But now here's a question: Does Jose try to last until time is up, or does he try to go for one more game? Yeah, four and a half left. Um, ideally, I think Jose would like to end this segment, which is contrary to the sort of dogmatic stance, which is okay if you're if you're down, then you want as many games as possible. This is obviously not a regular match. Um, you want to steer this toward your preferred time controls, which I think in Jose's case is three plus one. Um, I would say stretch this out no matter what. Well, because he does get white in the next game, so. True. And Igar has been playing that very, like, weird Scandi. I mean, also known as a Scandi. Yes, and I, I think he will change it up if he gets beaten badly, but that's a tall task. I mean, the Scandinavian is, uh, it, it is resilient. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's a reason he's playing it. He obviously believes in it. Yeah. Um, John Bartholomew would protest in case of an opening choice. That would be truly scandalous. I, I like Why? that. Sc sc scan Queen? Scandalous. Was that on purpose? Uh, it was, but the reason I made that pun is on a speedrun episode, I, I made that. I said that in a Scandi, and I did not mean to do it, and somebody pointed it out in the comments. And it's painful when you miss a chance at a pun. What, what what do you think you average puns per commentary? Like three, four? More than that, probably. I mean, it really depends uh, on the on the vibe, you know. And uh, sometimes it it crosses double digits. Well, double digits is is crazy. Why did it take Hikaru so long to to, to go for this? I, I guess he he felt he might have even better chances than this. Uh, but uh, just take the rook, you know. Or maybe he was trying to find an antidote to queen takes e4. Rook d1, knight takes f2. So you have to stay alert if you're Hikaru. And he has to find a move here. Maybe just bishop g5. Just get your pieces out. And then if knight takes f2, the end game is more palatable for white because e7 falls, falls over. But can, this is not so obvious. Why can't you just play knight f4? Ooh. And then just take with the bishop the and just chill. <laughs> But then still knight f2. No, rook f2. Queen okay. f2 qu ah, queen f2, bishop d4. Yeah, but there is rook f2. Yeah. No, maybe. Yeah. No, knight, knight f4, knight f2. Yeah, rook f2. Very important. Knight f4 is a cool move. I wonder if it's good. I I, I like it. I think it is. It's a nice Unlike move. rook f3, it's flashy and good. Yeah, rook f3 was just flashy. Ah, I like it. he he. he is Hikaru trying to stall the clock to end the segment, by the way? Is that what he's trying to do? It's possible that it's a mutually beneficial arrangement between his brain and the match strategy. It's like, I'm, I want to think anyway, so I'm going to think for a little bit longer to encourage this segment to end. Um, again, I think that any stalling in, in a format like this, is it a downside in the grand scheme of things? Perhaps. But, the you know, it's a totally legitimate part of match strategy. And, and you know, we can wait an extra 30 seconds. I also feel like the Scandinavian is exploitable with five minutes on the clock, and he's played knight f4. Hey! Damn, girl. That's not the best move, but maybe it'll do the job, and Jose is looking a bit spooked. Takes, takes. And maybe the reason it's not that exciting is just queen takes f4. No, rook c8. I wasn't looking at that. I forgot about that pawn at all. This pawn was the center of our attention. All we were thinking about is winning it. I It totally dropped off my radar. But uh, not Jose's. But what's the big deal? I guess I was thinking rook c1, but then there's queen f5 maybe. And the queen is now protected, so you can take the rook. But then you can move the rook. Ah, and then you're also threatening the bishop, so... Val. Crazy. Semen, right. rook d1. Anybody's game, Levy, if Jose plays this well, queen takes... Ooh, spicy. He wants the end game. He thinks the minor pieces, even with the queens off the board... And this, like, very compact. Oh, he mouse slipped. He mouse slipped. Oh my gosh. No. Oh, Jose. Wow. But they drew. 